Returning now to our coverage of George H.W. Bush and his many years of service to this country, David Martin tonight shares the story of how it all began for the former president as a young naval aviator in the Pacific during World War II. Like many wartime pilots, Lieutenant Junior Grade Bush named his airplane after a girl back home. Only he had to call it Barbara III because he had lost his first two planes, one in training and one to enemy fire. That's how dangerous flying was in World War II. There were 16 pilots in Lieutenant J.G. Bush's squadron, according to retired Admiral Samuel Cox, director of naval history. Half of them were killed or, or captured uh, before the end of the war. His service records show Cadet Bush was average in flight school. One instructor described him as somewhat eccentric. He flew the Avenger with its three-man crew, the heaviest plane the Navy dared to fly off an aircraft carrier. His target on September 2, 1944, was a Japanese radio transmitter on the island of Chichijima. A Navy animation shows his plane being hit as he began his run into the target, but staying with it until he dropped his bombs before trying to get back over water. What would happen to flyers who parachuted down onto the island? The Japanese executed uh, all of those who survived. Out over the water, he told his crew to bail out. Two parachutes came out of the aircraft. One opened, which was presumably uh, Lieutenant J.G. Bush. Uh, the other, what's called a streamer, is that the parachute didn't open. Neither of the crewmen were seen again. Lieutenant J.G. Bush landed in the water and swam to a life raft. The Japanese came out uh, after him. Some fighters uh, from the flight were able to strafe the, the Japanese boats and keep them away uh, during the four hours that Bush was actually uh, in the water. A U.S. submarine got to him before the Japanese could. Bush was actually surprised when, out of nowhere, this submarine surfaces, you know, right next to him. 20-year-old George Bush spent 30 days on that submarine, thinking, as he later told the author James Bradley, why had I been spared? What did God have in store for me? David Martin, CBS News, the Pentagon.